everybody. Welcome to my channel, Carol's Art Room. In today's video, I'm going to do a Dutch pour on a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm going to use some golds and uh, magenta and some metallics on white. So it should be pretty, I hope. So let's get started. Okay, so I've already started. I've poured some white Amsterdam white paint on my canvas. I can see there's a lot of air bubbles, so I'm going to have to torch this a bit. I think I need a little bit more paint down here. This was about half of this cup. Now I don't know what size this cup is. It's maybe 10 ounce cup, so maybe five or six ounces it takes. Okay, wipe my hands off. Take my torch to this because there's like a million air bubbles. And there's something here. Okay. gets rid of most of them anyway. Oh, there's still lots. Oh, 
Okay, this is Amsterdam paint and water. All right, I'm gonna have to live with this. Okay, so the colors today, I've got Quinacridone Magenta, Deco Art, Americana. I have, this is a gold, it's a Deco Art Gold, I don't have the bottle. Deco Art Gold, Metallic. And then I have some Liquitex Basics Oxide Red, or Red Oxide. I like it to flow so that there's no um, no puddle or no mound. So give me a, let me give it a little stir with a little bit more water. And then this is a coral decor extreme sheen. Nice when it pours like that. Let's try this one again. It's better. And then I have a Deco Art uh, Rose Gold. All right, so. debating which way I should if I should do diagonal or straight I kind of like diagonal I'm just hoping it will work so I think I'll put the dark color down first I'll put the gold. I went and got a different little hair dryer today. I went to the Goodwill store in my town and I picked up a little, small little uh, travel blower hair dryer. It's not as strong, so hopefully it won't. I hope it's strong enough, that's all. Sometimes my other hair dryer's too strong. I'm just playing around, trying different things. Now I'll put the... All right, my phone rang. So that was the coral I just put down. And now the rose gold.
let's try this little guy. Here's my little guy. Maybe I'll hold it like this. It's low. And that's high. Wow, high's not very good. Well, that doesn't work. So I'll use my other one. I guess my hair dryer is okay. But not my little new one that I just bought. Oh, well, I only paid $3 for it, so not a big deal. I'll use it for something else. Look how pretty that is. Wow. I'm not going to... Don't... Don't overblow it because I've learned, learned that if you go over it twice, it just, just doesn't work. Now I'll try. I'm not going to overblow it. I just want to get, I want to get the edges out. First I'll try my breath. Oh. It's so pretty. I think I'd like to blow that one.
Okay. I think I better stop playing with it. I think it's so gorgeous. These cells came out really nice. I don't want to torch this too much. Maybe it was that way. There. So you dip. Touch this side up here. There. I'll touch the sides up after I say goodbye and I'll put the dried results at the end of the video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a good day everybody and come back to Carol's art room. I'll put the dried result at the end. Please subscribe to my channel. would really appreciate it. Keep me doing videos. Have a good day. Hi, everyone. Here's my dried Dutch pour. I'll take you up to the top to show you those pretty little cells in there. Down here. I think it turned out pretty good. The colors really blended nicely. Anyways, um, yeah. I think it's awesome. And that's about it. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.